I'm gonna demonstrate the project that I've been working on recently and demonstrate the capabilities of it. So the idea is pretty much like the same as the autogen, but with a stateless machine. So you could even uh, save the state of uh, the history and come back later on if you decide to want to. Here's a brief introduction of the project and what does it do and the roadmap for it. It is still very early, so it doesn't have the, the same features as the autogen have, but at least it's in TypeScript. So if you, for the guys that don't understand Python or wanna go down that road, just you can install here and start using straight away. So the idea here is that you configure your nodes separately from where you are going to create their connections and how they're gonna to talk to each other. So similarly to Autogen, we have three types of agents. One type is the assistant, which is basically one agent that is going to pretty much act as a user and it is going to be interrupting uh, the conversation and uh, prompting the user to give some feedbacks to the chat. We have the manager, which is a group manager. This guy is going to manage who is going to talk next in the conversation. And also we have the type agent, which is just a bot that replies the conversation. Similarly to Autogen, we, we need to create the roles for each agent. After we've set up the configuration for all of them, we can then create their connections and how they're gonna talk to each other. So I use it here an array to, to demonstrate a group representation. Here is just a direct message conversation. This library exposes some methods for you to listen for events. There are some few types of events if you want to go. There are some a list down here. And after you start the conversation, it is going to wait for everything to uh, until it gets interrupted or terminated. And then you can pretty much save the chat if you want to. You could also give the chat to the main object and initialize the same chat again. So let's dive into the code, some examples, and I can show you how is this working so far. Here I imported everything that I wanted. So I created this file here called two groups, which sits inside the examples folder. If you guys wanna see the examples folder, there are other files there with another examples. So this file here, it pretty, it pretty much import everything that it's going to be used asks the user for a topic, what they're gonna talk about. So in this example here, I'm gonna create a content creator team that is going to generate a blog post. And this team is going to be composed by a strategist, a researcher, a writer, and a SEO. Also the client who is going to be providing feedbacks. So here I set up all the necessary nodes, configurations for each of them. It's pretty much like the same prompt as you have already been using, nothing special unless some additional notes for terminating chat when needed. Here, just give it to the agent to go there and post to the group, the client post to the group, write, me, write a blog post about the topic. So let's run this and see how it goes. Let's write a blog post about a how to make money online client it is going to post it to uh, the content creators group it is the strategist analyzing the, the topic and also giving their instructions researcher just replied to the strategist with some thoughtful in information in my case here I'm using GPT-4 to generate this content so it, it is going to take a little bit longer to get the results and also a little bit expensive. Some of these tasks could even uh, be performed by a different model if you want to. So the writer just came back with the blog post so now this SEO is going to make his contribution and ask the client if there's something that they need to improve. Let's see. In this case here, I don't have anything to adjust or suggest, so I'm gonna just press enter and wait for the auto reply. The client just asked it for more specific examples and success stories. And the writer is going to give me the latest revised article that I can use. So the SEO made some pretty good contributions here. So I'm gonna agree with them and see how the writer does the job right now. So in my case here, I just hit the rate limit for the GPT-4 
because I don't have that much token limit. As of right now, the library doesn't handle gracefully those kind of errors. So if that happens, you have to run it again or even keep saving this chat in some file or something like that. But that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like it and this project it helps you with your project. And if it does, please subscribe and share with your friends. Also, keep your star on GitHub so you can get to know what is uh, going on with this library. Uh, yeah. Talk to you later. Tá ótimo.